We are all familiar with using npm and yarn in our projects while installing node modules. But if you take a deeper look, you will find some issues in npm and yarn compared to the pnpm package manager which provides significant advantages compared to the other two. Let's discuss each of them. The first advantage of pnpm is disk space efficiency. pnpm uses a unique approach called hard linking to store dependencies. This means that if multiple projects use the same version of a package, pnpm will only store it once on disk. This can lead to significant disk space savings, especially when working on multiple projects. So when multiple projects need the exact same dependencies, pnpm doesn't store separate copies for each project. It's like creating a shared library of parts that all your projects can use. How cool is that? Whereas in other package managers like npm or yarn, if two different coding projects require the same dependencies, each project would download and store their own copy of the same dependency, even if they are identical, which takes up a lot of space on your computer. Now because with pnpm, you don't download separate copies of the same dependency and use the same pieces from a shared storage, pnpm can often install packages faster than npm and yarn. It skips redundant installations and only installs what is necessary for a specific project leading to faster installations. And also pnpm shares dependencies between projects. You can potentially save on bandwidth and download time as well, ultimately reducing the network usage. pnpm is also reliable when it comes to security. Similar to yarn, pnpm also has a special file that contains checksums for all the packages that are installed. This checksum ensures that the installed packages haven't been tampered with or corrupted. This is important because it guarantees the integrity of the packages before their code is executed, reducing the risk of security issues or unexpected behavior due to compromised packages. In npm and yarn, when a package depends on another package, the dependent package automatically gains access to the dependencies of the packages it depends on. This can lead to situations where a package gets access to dependencies it didn't explicitly declare as its own, potentially causing conflicts or unexpected behavior. pnpm addresses this problem by using a different dependency resolution algorithm and a unique folder structure within the node modules directory. This structure prevents unauthorized access to packages. PNPM performs atomic updates. With regular package managers, when you're installing or updating parts of your project like libraries or tools, sometimes things can go wrong, and your project might end up in a broken or incomplete state. You might not know which update caused the issue, and it can be a bit tricky to undo the changes. But with PNPM's atomic updates, either the installation or update process happens perfectly, or it doesn't happen at all. If something goes wrong during the update, let's say maybe a part doesn't fit well with the rest, PNPM makes sure that no changes are made to your project. It's like cancelling the update and keeping everything as it was before. So clearly, pnpm is a great package manager. However, there are some considerations you must take into account before using it. The first is ecosystem compatibility. While pnpm aims to be compatible with the npm ecosystem, there may still be cases where certain packages don't work as expected due to the unique way pnpm manages dependencies. Then there's community and support. npm and yarn have larger and more established communities, which means you're more likely to find documentation, tutorials, and solutions to common issues. pnpm's community might be smaller in comparison. There's also a learning curve. If you're familiar with npm or yarn, transitioning to pnpm might require some learning and adjustment. And lastly, some tools and integrations might be tailored specifically for npm or yarn. So you should ensure that your development workflow and tooling can smoothly work with pnpm. pnpm offers some clear advantages in terms of disk space efficiency, faster installations, reduced network usage, and security management. However, it's important to weigh these benefits against potential challenges like ecosystem compatibility and community support. If you're working on projects with tight disk space constraints or frequently switching between projects, pnpm might be a compelling choice. Otherwise, you should evaluate your project's specific needs and the tools that best align with them. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.